Tomorrow marks one year since the violence in Lewiston that forever changed our state. Good evening and thanks for joining us here at 530. I'm Chris Costa. And I'm Sam Olson. 18 people killed, 13 people injured, and at least 87 others witnessed the tragedy unfold. Many of those who made it out alive live with grief over their loved ones who didn't. I sat down with Bobby Nichols who says the time that's passed hasn't made the grief any easier. I just feel like um, my life's on hold and I don't know what's going to happen. It's an uncertainty Bobby Nichols says she's only ever felt since the mass shooting in Lewiston. Nichols went to bowl with her sister Trisha Aslin at Just In Time Recreation the evening of October 25th, 2023. When she had been walking up to the front doors, I, I hugged her. And she goes, oh, we're going to have fun. I say, yeah, we are. That hug is one of the last good memories she has with her sister. I'm glad that I was with her because I feel like that um, she didn't die alone. You know, I was with her that night. But Bobby's grief doesn't end with losing her little sister. She says she deals with the trauma that comes with survival, too. Just the idea of running when somebody has a gun is, is very frightening. It's really um, does a, a, a lot to people. To this day, Bobby says she has anxiety just doing everyday things like going to the grocery store. If I look back, I've made many strides. Um, but if I don't look back, I'm like, I'm still very much lost and still grieving and still horrified about memories of that night. A night that replays in her mind over and over again. I don't want to recognize that it's been a year. I don't want to recognize that it happened. I don't want to recognize that she's never coming back. Bobby says she'll never stop talking about the beautiful person Trisha was inside and out. I don't want her to be forgotten. I want her to be remembered. Um, because good people should be remembered. Bobby says her sister and everyone else who was killed should be remembered as more than just one of 18. Bobby wants each of these people to be remembered for what they brought to this world, not just for how they were taken from it. You know, I hear so many times, 18 people, 18 people. I want to hear their names more. I just, what I could do for one more day. Bobby says every person impacted by the tragedy has a different approach to healing. She says some people have a hard time and can't talk about it, but she says for her, she has a hard time, but sometimes she needs to talk about it. And for anyone struggling, whether you've been impacted by the shootings or not, Maine has a 24-7 crisis line. Trained crisis call specialists answer the line any time of day or night and provide free and confidential support. That number is 1-888-568-1112.